this kind, or in fact, in one case, a strike in 10 cities in the United States, and they all are, have the same goal, which is to get Hyatt to treat housekeepers with respect and dignity that they deserve. They work very hard. Uh, they're practically invisible to the company. The company treats them as disposable. The company has been uh, bringing in uh, uh, subcontracting companies that pay half as much and laying off housekeepers. Uh, Hyatt housekeepers have been uh, dem shown in a scientifically validated study to have the highest injury rates in the whole hotel industry. And this has to stop. Uh, the Hyatt is a very profitable corporation. They don't have to treat workers this way. My God, because you don't listen, you don't escuch, uh, two years no contract, that's why. You always give you more job and less money. No, no, no. Is that what no, they're doing? Yeah. It's like, like more work and they keep us hard work and get a little money. What do you do here at the hotel, sir? Housekeeping. How long you worked here? 32 years old. 32 years. Yeah, 32 years. They haven't had the right tools to do their jobs when getting ergonomic injuries and then basically being treated as machines and fired once they're no longer useful. So the key? No. No nos escuchan cuando les decimos que, por ejemplo, es demasiado trabajo, no podemos terminar de limpiar los cuartos y si está el hotel todo lleno, sobrevendido, no, no nos respetan. Ellos no quieren saber de eso, solo quieren cuartos limpios. I'm Deacon John Steele from Holy Family Church in Glendale. It all boils down to respect for the workers, treating them as human beings, treating them as we would want to be treated. The world of housekeeping is a largely hidden world, and the hotel industry and the atmosphere of luxury and comfort is created by a usually invisible army of workers, mostly women and people of color, who face many dangers on the job. Marta Pacheco, a Hyatt Century Plaza housekeeper for 17 years, rushes to get the work done. Surgeries for carpal tunnel have twice made Marta unable to work. The co-workers, like Linda Lopez, keep at the growing work. The lack of fitting sheets, the constant bending and lifting, takes a toll and can cause many housekeepers to hurt their lower backs and arms. They often miss and if an extra towel or sheet has fallen on the floor. Housekeepers can seriously hurt themselves, at times requiring major surgery from tripping on linens or other hotel amenities strewn around hotel rooms. The right to work in a safe and secure environment free from harassment or assault has become an increasing concern. Contra la ley. We will not be silent. 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 We will